Hello, if you're finding this year's summer to be a little bit too hot for you, um, rather than getting air conditioning installed in your house, there's something else you can do, which is use the engineering technique of evaporative cooling. So to give you an example, uh, this is my bedroom. This is uh, the door out to the outside. And at the moment, I'm reading on my slightly broken thermometer, uh, 32.1 degrees. So that's the air coming in. It's sort of jumping around to 32.6 and 7, so it's, it's pretty high. Now let's just go through to the bathroom where I have set up in there. A bowl of water that you can see there. I'm just going to run a little bit more water into that, just stick the temperature probe in. Now what you should be able to see is the water temperature is about 27 degrees, 26.9. Now just to give you an example, if I now take the probe out and let the water evaporate, you can see the temperature is dropping as the water evaporates off of the probe. So it's the same feeling you get when you get out of a swimming pool. After a few seconds, the water should have reached the temperature of your skin, but it will feel colder because it's evaporating off and, um, and absorbing heat from the, out, from the environment to allow it to evaporate. So it's still dropping down by a degree or so. So what I'm going to do now is just wring the water out a little bit without getting it too hot again with my hands. So I'm just squeezing out as much of the water as I can, purely to stop this from dripping all over the floor. Warm anything else. I don't want to get it completely dry, of course. Just give it a bit of a ringing. That should do a little bit more, maybe. Okay, I'll now take the thermometer and the towel through to the back room. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is hang the towel up on this rail up here. Now, even though the water temperature was 27, what I'm expecting is that now the towel starting to evaporate the water, it should be a little bit lower, just like the water evaporating off, off the uh, temperature probe. And you can see here, it's going down to 26.6, 26.8, That's just by holding the probe onto the towel. So I'm already losing uh, 4 degrees, so 6 degrees. I, this is, uh, the towel is, the, the, the air that's just on the surface of the towel is about 6 degrees cooler than the air which is coming in. Now, the amount of cooling I get from that depends on quite a few different things. It can depend on whether the air is going out or going in. Hopefully the air is coming in this way. The surface area of the towel, the velocity of the air, uh, the, ver the relative humidity of the weather today. If it's high relative humidity, then this won't work so well. But what I'm going to try and do is get maximum um, surface area just here. And that should if there's air coming in, that will be slightly cooled by the towel, even when the towel isn't soaking wet. If it's just slightly moist, so it's not dripping, like this one is, then you'll get a little bit of cooling for free without having to pay for air conditioning or anything like that. So this is using evaporative cooling. It's basically a, a normal engineering process in buildings and offices, but this one is much simpler. It doesn't keep refreshing the water. You have to do it yourself. But it, the towel doesn't have to be particularly wet. It just needs to be slightly damp. So you can try that in front of your doors, by your windows, 
anywhere really and it will slowly cool it down. So in the next video what I'm going to try and show is that this actually has an effect on the room temperature. Thanks for watching.